Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at designing some camera brackets, uh, particularly web camera brackets. One for the Wanho and then the second one for the Fabricator Mini. So um, the one with the shorter is for the Fabricator Mini to latch on to the front, and it's got a little bit wider um, with the plexiglass being about three mils versus the metal being a little shorter, two mils on the one home. Anyways, I was a little bit inspired uh, by uh, Angus at Maker's Muse. He had uh, done a, a, a kind of a time-lapse design of a holder for uh, in, in iPhone. So I thought that was kind of unique. So because it allowed, uh, it, you know, uh, you know, basically in fast motion, somebody to see all the design concepts that go into building something rather than just kind of walking through piece by piece. So what I've done is uh, I've recorded the design of both of these pieces. Obviously, they're very similar. And uh, I, I'm going to show this in, in uh, basically time-lapse mode. And so you kind of get to see how it all goes together. Then after the time-lapse of the assembly, we're actually going to take jump in and take a look at um, a time lapse of them being printed and then we're going to come back after that time lapse and then um, you know see how they work and so we'll put one on the fabricator we'll put one on the Wanho and we'll see how going from you know uh, design you know idea to design to actual production uh, actually happens in the 3d space so again these are just some things I've dreamed up you know if you've been watching some of the prior videos I've been working on this for a little while with different prototypes um, and I think I've got a little bit better one here uh, for the Wanho and then uh, obviously one for the Fabricator Mini and again these are all designed to work with uh, quarter by 20 um, and I'm sure our metric fans can adapt these to their needs uh, too so anyways uh, Let's go watch a time lapse of this being created, and then we'll come back briefly. Then watch a time lapse of the uh, uh, of these actually being printed on the Wanho. So, time lapse. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go.
Well, welcome back. So, we walked through uh, the time lapse of uh, the design of these things, and as you can see, we printed them out on the bed here. So, one of the things I want to take a few minutes and just go do a time lapse of these. You can watch them being printed on here. So, you really get the perspective of, again, from idea to design to actual production, because this is really what's neat about 3D printing is we can go from an idea to an actual physical product in a relatively short period of time because in reality, well, I mean, in the whole filming of this video and doing this has been a couple hours. However, literally, within an hour or so, I could have gone from an idea for these in my head to design them in Tinkercad to print them out on this printer. This took about 43 minutes to print these. So, uh, anyways, Let's go do a time lapse and then we'll come back and we'll talk about these a little bit more and we'll show how they work. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. Pulled them off the bed, and I got the I have the Wanho uh, one attached, and it slides nicely over the, the top. Um, I'm a little bit concerned uh, because I thickened it back up a little bit, and the original one I had done with with uh, Pet G was a little bit more solid than this. And I know I'm going to get yelled at probably by somebody from uh, um, the YouTube universe that. Uh, says uh, PETG is, isn't more solid than PLA. However, I tell you what, if I put, I don't have it here unfortunately, however you can see this flexing in here, uh, the PETG one does not flex like that. And <clears throat> again, I don't know if it's from the support structures or what. Both have approximately the same specific gravity, but that, that's another video. So anyways, that's the, um, that's the Wanho one. So I think, I think that'll work. And again, <clears throat> One of the things, the way I, I cut into it, um, I left about 1.2 millimeters and then I used the, the, this structure up here to kind of bridge uh, and take some of the weight and then um, kept it fairly long down here so it's really twerking against the front of this and I'll try to get this down here so it's really this angled piece twerking so um, if I were to do it a little bit more, I would carry this piece out, but I don't think I'll get too much bouncing uh, because the other one I, re I get a lot of bouncing off of. So, anyways, uh, let's go check. We got the one for whoops, if I don't throw it on the floor. We got the one here for the uh, Fabricator Mini. So, let's go see how this works in the Fabricator Mini. Wow, just like downtown the David Whitney building. So, we got this one on the Fabricator Mini. So, that actually looks pretty darn good. So, uh, uh, I might in the final version put a few more supports because I made this a little bit larger. Maybe that's I'm getting a little bit of the bouncing. However, um, all in all, it turned out pretty good because what I'm going to do is take the webcam from over here, mount it on here so it's looking in the front door of this, watching it for 
our Octoprint set up. So we have our Octoprint um, Octopi over here, which I'm going to build a new mounting um, case for this in, in another video. So anyways, here we go. We have this. So this has really turned out cool. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this has gone. And again, hopefully you've seen now how you can go from idea to design to production in the 3D print world very rapidly. And th this is what the power is. And this is really what I want to focus on is how in the 3D print world we can actually make um, use of this for more than just toys and things like that. However, actually do more production oriented design work. So if you have any comments or suggestions about things you'd like to see in this space, hey, leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to work on them. Um, because again, you can kind of see a piece over here. This is going to be part of the uh, a couple other videos that I'm doing with regards to Octoprint, etc. And it just finished up printing on the printer. So anyways, hey, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, if you found this video interesting. Even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. What does it hurt? Click that button down there and I greatly appreciate it. See you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.